Welcome to January the 3rd. 2019. 2019. Listen, I got something to talk about this morning. Well, first of all, we are excited to be leaving. As you can, as you see in the in the rearview mirror, I mean in the in, in the, the road. Look, we got no leaves on the trees. There's no sunshine. The camera mess, man. We are leaving. Good morning, Janine. We are leaving this middle Tennessee weather. Rain. I'm tired of the rain, man. Headed to sunny LA. Look at all those ducks. Good grief. You know who? You know uh, the notorious B.I.G. Are you familiar with the notorious B.I.G.? Yes, I am. So the notorious B.I.G. had a song that said, "I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali." Okay. So we should be playing that right now because we're going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. Janine, I hope it's pretty where you are. It's not where we are, but we're headed to LA. We're really excited to be with an awesome dentist up there. There's killer. Brand new situation. This is going to be a blast. So, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about 2019. And as you guys know, if you look anywhere on social media, all over right now, any social media, it's all about 2019. What are you going to do in 2019? Let's yeah. make big goals yeah. and all this other stuff. You know what? What do you want to say about that? I'm getting on here. 2019, here's what I want to say about it. Everybody wants to talk about They're going to do this. They're going to do that. I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to make a million dollars. I'm going to I'm gonna grow my <laughs> business. I'm going to do this. Listen, ask yourself, why haven't you not even done it before? Like, what is... What has been the thing that's holding you back? Because just writing it down and that's thinking about start. it and making and making the assumption that, hey, I'm going to do this, that is not going to get you where it is that you want to go. It, it's going to take an investment, an investment of time, an investment of money, an investment of mindset, an investment of your heart. And here's the thing, y'all. You got to, you got to, you got to get, you know, in order to get where you want to go, you got to do things and be things You've never done. And you know what? Not everybody, as an entrepreneur, is ready to make that move. No. But you know what? If you're not ready, that's okay. But don't throw lip service at it. Right. I mean, at you're the end of the day, look, you know that whatever you've done up to this point has not gotten you as far as you want to go. So to be able to get you further than you've been in the past, you know you're going to have to be different, right? Some of that change is going to be really easy. Some of that change is going to be really tough. And if you're not ready to face getting out of your comfort zone, if you're not ready to face getting past some of the beliefs that have been holding you back, if you're not ready to go after those kinds of things, then you know what? Don't set yourself up for disappointment. If you would just like to be more successful, then you're not ready. If you are ready to dig deep and go after change, see, it's perfect timing because now we're sitting in front of a train. That's right. So we got all the time in the world to have this conversation. I mean, if you're not ready to face your comfort zone, your own limiting beliefs, those of your teams, if you're not ready to challenge and have some tough conversations, you know what? You're not ready, and that's okay. But don't waste your time by giving it lip service. That's right. And I'm listen, I don't want this to come across like I'm against goals. I love, I mean, I wrote down big goals, huge goals. Hairy. Big, like Sean said, big, fat, hairy goals. I wrote them down. And you know what? When I wrote them down, I meant it. I told, uh, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to uh, Jenny yesterday on the phone. And I said, how much money did you say you wanted to make in 2019? Let's go. What we got to do? And she said, I don't know. I said, I wrote down what I wanted. I said, you know what? It looked like a phone number. <laughs> I said, it scared me. It scared me, but you know what? It looked like a phone it number. It looked like a phone number. So that's what I want to get to, and I'm serious about that goal. And it's a big goal, but I understand that in order to get there, I have got to be different, right. or I would have already been there. Right. I would have already accomplished it. it it's, it, it's not rocket science. Life is not rocket science. You put in... And you get out. You get out what you put in. Either you know, mindset, investment, time, effort, all of those things. And you know it's going to be, as you say, different. So what you don't know, you don't know. But you do know. Dude, the camera's crooked all the time. It's because your stand's crooked. Keep the <laughs> Keep 
his strap. I'm trying. I'm holding his strap. <laughs> you know that you got to be different. You don't know it's going to be different good. You don't know if it's going to be different tough. Exactly. But you know this. you got to be willing to be different. And if you're not willing to go out there and face perhaps your own fears, certainly your comfort zone, mm. absolutely your limiting beliefs. If you're not ready to face those things, then be honest with yourself. You're not ready to go after where you potentially could be. And that's okay. You know, like Matt Monero says, I mean, you know, there's 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 only 8% of the population are entrepreneurs. And he goes, you know what? It's too many. It's too many because it's it. tough and you got to be built. Here's the good news. If you are ready to go after facing your own fears, your own comfort zone, your own limiting beliefs, if you're ready to go after that. And you write it down and you have a plan of attack. You can't just say I'm ready to go but not know the road to get there. But if you're ready, then you'll find it's not nearly as difficult as you might have thought. For sure. You'll find that really at the end of the day, the only thing you had to fear was fear. Uh, Fear There was no... real boogeyman behind all of that fear and so the bottom line is we want you to be better we want you to go after your goals but you know what you got to be ready to face your own head trash don't talk about it be about it don't talk about it be about it you got to live it and you got to change it the only reason we wanted to have this conversation is because again there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of rah-rah out there on social media. Go after your goals, you know, be big, all this. Fa- you know, listen, you've got to be in the proper mindset. Now, if you do what Cameron said, and we cut a lot of videos. I just did a couple of videos on this in the last couple of days. I mean, you know, you got to start out with what do you want to take home, work backwards, figure out what has to happen in your business. Even if you're a team member, what has to happen in terms of, you know the practice to be able to hit your bonuses. All of those kinds of things. Work backwards. Lay out some goal. Lay out some uh, specific goals. Break those down into the smallest parts. And I think we're probably going to have that uh, another video on that this week because it is so valuable. But all of those things, all of those things are irrelevant if you're not ready, willing, and hungry to chase after what's going on in your own head. The beliefs, the fear, the comfort zone, that's what's been holding you back all of this time. You know you got to be different. If you are ready and you do those steps, 2019 is going to be your best year ever. But you got to get your head right before you go after tackling strategies, plans, before you go tackling systems and processes. Get serious about it, man. Got to get your head right. Get serious. At the end of the day, it's not brain surgery. You, you, know, one, it's, you, it's got, not one shot, you got one shot at this. It's time to get serious. Yep. I had a mentor one time who used to say, you know. What's up, Brady? Mama, Brady's serious. Mama ain't coming. Mama ain't coming. You That's got right. one shot at this life, and nobody is coming to rescue you. So you got to dig deep a little bit and really ask yourself, am I ready to go after the things that have been holding me back right here? Brandy's going after it. Brandy is chasing it in 2019. Brandy, I think about you all the time. I'm excited for you. Uh, I texted uh, your counterpart over the holidays and told him how excited I was for uh, for 2019. You guys go kill it. Yeah, we're rooting for you, man. Whatever you need from us, lean on us. I don't know why this thing does that. We will not wreck the car. We will not wreck the car. So that's what it takes, y'all. Step one, get your heart right. All the other stuff comes after. And, you know, at the end of the day, getting all rah-rah on social media and all this other stuff, that's great, but it's going to last about this long. Woo! I'm going to lose 20 pounds, Stone Crab Trip. I'm going to lose 20 pounds. Yeah. But I got no plan. Yeah. I got no, I got no, I, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Got no gym membership, but I'm going to do it. And if you're not ready to go face, hey, what's going on here it's not going to happen yeah man so that's why we're having this conversation because I want we you to don't want goals. you to be I, in that place I want you I want everybody to hit their goals that they write down I want everybody to achieve whatever it is they want to achieve in 2019 but don't just talk about it be about it take it one step further find the plan and challenge what's going on in your head 
every day when you're taking those action steps to go towards your plan, challenge your own thinking, your challenge your own mindset, challenge your own beliefs, get past your comfort zone, challenge what's going on in your head. Otherwise, all that other stuff is uh, rah-rah and it's not going to get you anywhere. At the end of the day, that's why we come to you every single morning with something to be able to challenge what's going on right here. So we're off to L.A., leaving all this gray. Look in the rear. Oh, oh Randy, look at this. We got no leaves on the trees. We got no sunshine. We got gray. We got black and white. You look yeah. out the window, it's all black <laughs> and white. It looks like the 1950s. There's like, no color. It's like the Wizard of Oz out there. That's right. So we are headed to L.A., and I'm hoping that it's sunny. Have you looked at the weather? I don't even. It doesn't matter. It never, never rains in L.A. Yeah. In L.A. We're excited to be out there. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. Challenge beliefs. Challenge your own comfort zone. Challenge your own mindset. Challenge your own fears. That's right, man. And make 2019 the best it possibly can be because it's all about you having happier clients, better results, making more money, and it's about enjoying the ride, and that's what we want for you in 2019. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.